In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CH3COOH. This is magnesium plus acetic acid. Sometimes you'll see the acetic acid written as HC2H3O2. It's the same thing. So we'll go with this one in this video. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation here. To do that, I can see that I have two of these acetate ions here. So I know I'm going to need to double this. So if I double this, that'll balance my acetate ions. Then I have these two extra hydrogens here. So that's good. I have two here, one magnesium, one magnesium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Magnesium, that's a metal. So we're just going to write solid. It's a solid metal. This acetic acid here, it will dissolve. It's aqueous, but we do need to be careful. This is kind of a special one. It's a weak acid. That means it's a weak electrolyte. So it'll dissolve, but it won't break apart into ions. We'll come back to that. Acetates, when we have this acetate ion here, very soluble. So we write AQ. That will dissolve. The magnesium acetate will dissolve. Hydrogen, that's a gas. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. We can't split magnesium up. That's just magnesium. And I'll write the states later. And then for the acetic acid here, we said it's a weak electrolyte. We only split up strong electrolytes into their ions. So we're not going to split this up. So we'll have 2CH3COOH. You'll often see people split this up. You shouldn't do that, though, since it's a weak acid, it's a weak electrolyte, and we only split up the strong electrolytes. In the products, this whole acetate ion here, that's one minus. Good one to remember. Magnesium group two is always two plus. Two of these acetate ions. Then we have the magnesium ion, that Mg2 plus, and then we don't split gases up in net ionic equations, so we just have H2 as a gas. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. The thing is, everything here is unique. So we have magnesium here, metal, but this is magnesium ion. It's going to be dissolved, aqueous, very different. The acidic acid, these two molecules are very different than these two ions. So since everything is different, the complete ionic equation, it's the same as the net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation and complete ionic equation for Mg plus CH3COOH. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is both our net and complete ionic equation for magnesium plus acetic acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have everything here is neutral, net charge of zero. Here I have two times one minus, two minus, two plus. That adds up to net charge of zero here. So charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Do be careful, acetic acid, it's a weak acid, therefore it's a weak electrolyte, and we do not split it up in net ionic equations. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.